Hello everyone. In my previous video, I have explained you how to calculate coefficient of correlation, and that also given by the Carl Pearson. Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation. In my previous video, I have explained it by using the shortcut method, and today I am going to explain you how to calculate Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation with the help of step deviation method. Now, how can we calculate it by step deviation method? First, we'll understand the formula. R is equals to. देखो, हम लोगों ने जो last video में अपना पढ़ा था, उसमें हमने क्या पढ़ा था? N into sigma dx dy minus n bracket sigma dx into sigma dy whole upon first root is for x n into sigma dx square minus sigma dx ka whole square multiply another root n into sigma dy square minus sigma dy ka whole square ye shortcut method ka tha step division method mein change kya hai changes here we will take dx dash and dy dash everywhere where we have taken dx and dy in shortcut method now what is dx dash and dy dash let us understand it with an example with a numerical example now say suppose i carry on with the same question uh, if i have to calculate carl pearson of coefficient of correlation right uh, x is given 4 6 8 10 and 12 and y is given 6 8 10 12 and 14 what we have to do first we can see the formula here we first we have to calculate dx and dy and when we talk about the shortcut method or step deviation method we always use assumed mean to calculate the deviation right say suppose i have taken assumed mean 8 here and here i have taken assumed mean 10 so it will become minus 4 minus 2 0 2 and 4 here it will become again minus 4, minus 2, 0, 2 and 4. Along with this we have to calculate dx dash. dx dash is dividing dx by the common factor. Common factor here will be, kisse sari divide ho chayenge? It will be 2. Same here, we will find here dy dash, dy divide by a common factor. So common factor here will be, here pe bhi 2 hi hai, jisse sabhi divide ho jayenge. So by dividing it by 2, it becomes minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. Here it becomes minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. Then we have to calculate dx dash square and dy dash square. Now 2 into 2, 4, 1, 0, 1, 4. Here also 4, 1, 0, 1. 1 4 and the last thing which is left is dx dash and dy dash multiplication of this dx dash with dy dash so here minus 2 into minus 2 plus 4 minus 1 into minus 1 plus 1 0 into 0 0 1 into 1 1 and 2 into 2 4 now we have to take the total of dx dash sigma dx dash and say sigma dx dash square here sigma dy dash sigma dy dash square and the last is sigma dx dy now by taking out the total we get 2 by 2 1 by 1 0 here it is 4 plus 1 5 and 4 plus 1 5 it is 10 here it is 0 again 10 again and 10 again this is what the values we get now by putting these values in the formula we again write the formula and into dx dash dy dash minus sigma dx dash into sigma dy dash whole upon first under root n into sigma dx dash square minus sigma dx dash ka whole square another root n into sigma dy dash square minus sigma dy dash ka whole square by putting the values we get 
n is 5 multiply dx dy is 10 dx dash dy dash is 10 minus dx dash is 0 multiply dy dash is also 0 here the values are by chance same it is a coincidence in the question and 2 root we are making here 5 into dx dash square is 10 minus 0 ka square here 5 into again dy dash square is 10 0 square it becomes 20 minus 0 whole upon 1 under root is again 20 minus 0 another under root is also 20 minus 0 it becomes 20 upon root 20 into root 20 it becomes 20 upon 20 that is 1 same question I have explained you with the help of shortcut method and with the help of direct method so dear ones I hope it is clear to you that you use any method with the same question same number of questions your answer will be same but you have to pay attention towards the formula so there is perfect positive correlation between x and y i hope it is very much clear to you if you face any problem you can ask me anytime dear ones go through the formula once again practice more questions thank you god bless you all